Richard, I happen to know that you're a big fan of the bidet. I don't How know would you know that? How would you know that? It's something about our relationship. I just know these things. <laughs> well, I am. I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of their function. Now, they're not that popular in the United States. They're, they were developed in France, mostly parts of Asia, with good reason, because it was a way to properly clean someone's undercarriage. Mm -hmm. Now, in the United States, they weren't that popular because they took up a lot more space. People weren't used to them. And you needed to have a proper drain and vent and hot and cold water to them. And, and you say they took up space. That's because if you had a bidet, you also had to have a toilet, Absolutely. too, right? For all the solids, the flush. And so you would be able to set the temperature just right. It would come up through a wand right here. You'd set the pressure underneath so that it wouldn't shoot through the roof. It would just sort of wash right here, and all, this, all the uh, liquid would go down here. Okay. But the functions of this are really great. You save on a lot of toilet paper, and you can really make sure there's proper hygiene. Now, they're able, through miniaturization and progress, they're able to take these two functions and combine them together into one fixture. Gotcha. So welcome to the Uber toilet. This is the, whoa. Good Say hello. Boy. Hello, Kevin. So, wow, that's motion activated. Motion activated, all right, and it has a couple of wands that'll stick out right here, and that'll be able to spray upwards. But this has got a heated seat. Really? It does. It has a deodorizer. What? Right, it has a night light right here, so you can find the bowl in the middle of the night. And it comes with a controller with all the settings on it, all right? It'll also flush automatically. And, and that's important because this is a combo, so it right. flushes as right. well it as does the that's, hygienic. That's, um, and automatically and make it flush. All right, so it's all built in. It needs electrical power to be plugged into the wall. And this is all these functions in one. So I guess it sounds yeah. cool. It also sounds expensive, like if it's doing all of those crazy you things. You know, Kevin, I could put you into this baby for about 5000 bucks. <laughs> 5000 bucks. You know, low monthly I'm, payments. I don't think I'm worthy. <laughs> 5000 Well. So the same technology has existed for a while, not in a one piece, it actually has been developed into a toilet seats that could go onto your own existing toilet. So the hybrid model. Right. So here's one right here. This toilet seat has almost every feature that that unit has, okay? It normally would have an automatic open here. Mm -hmm. It has a, a remote right here. And now if you could just actually, it, it doesn't want to come on unless someone's sitting down. So you sit down right there and there's a little hinge right there. Oh yeah, I can feel and some now, little activation. And now if we do this, this wand should come out. So a little bit of water coming okay, out. Okay, here oh, it comes here. Look at that. Okay. So this has got also uh, oscillation and pulsation. It can change what the, uh, it's a lot of good stuff in it. So the wand would actually move and pulse as that's well? Right, that's right. Look at that. And it also has a dryer. So we'll try the dryer. So in this case, you've taken a standard toilet and just added the sophisticated seat. Yeah, that's right. The bidet. So here, here's the dryer right here. So it'll, you can feel it, that's warm air, okay? And the seat would be warm as well. Oh, look at that. Okay. And if I took my hand off or if it I should, stood it up, stop the things should shut down right. as well. Okay. okay. So do I, I, I presumably save money because I'm... You do. Yeah. This is this is about 1600 1700 bucks. okay? It's a little rich for my buck. Well, there's still options though. So here's one that doesn't have the dryer. Uh, and it's going to be about half what that one is, I think about 700 bucks for this one. But also a retrofit. Right. So any of them that are going to come, they're going to have some connections that are consistent. One's a water connection right here that'll intercede behind the toilet tank. This is an electrical connection. Now you're going to need to have a ground fault circuit interrupted in the bathroom, which is unusual. So that could be the one thing that makes this difficult. But otherwise, it's pretty straightforward. They're all going to have a controller and they're all gonna have some adapter that's gonna allow you to adapt any of the seats to any of the toilets in the marketplace. Mm -hmm. So it starts by getting rid of this toilet seat. Pretty easy, because it's just a couple basic screws, yeah. right? Yeah. Once you get that side here. So toilet seat comes away. Just leaves us with the two connections there. So this adapter is really ingenious because there's so many different toilets you might want to adapt onto. So I've marked it so you you go down through. Just right back yeah, in. Just snug it right back in, please. Make sure it's square to the back. Pretty okay. Tight right there. See now on the seat itself, it has a keyway in the back that'll oh, allow yeah. us to slide this right on. Okay, that's locked in. This is the water connection you have to deal with. So the one standard connection in the plumbing world is the size of this shank 
on the back of a toilet tank, right. okay? So you turn the water off first. There's gonna be a little water in here, flush the toilet, and then you loosen this with a pair of pliers. So now you can see this, this thing comes with a washer. And what you're gonna do is actually intercede between that supply. Look at that. You see it? It's yep. pretty straightforward. So now this goes here and you snug this all up. So now water is allowed to come up through into the toilet tank, so the toilet tank still functions. Right. But it tees off some of it to go over into this reservoir where it can heat the water yep. and use the bidet feature. That's an easy connection right Absolutely. there. I don't have a toilet anywhere near an outlet. Um, am I pulling in an electrician? And I mean, yep. what, this is half the price of that, but now I've got to wire my whole bathroom. Yeah, there's still something to it. There is one that I have probably for you. <laughs> You've already had three for no, me. No, no, no. <laughs> so this is the one that doesn't need any electricity, no batteries. You just make your connection with the water. And what you lose there is the dryer and you lose the heated water. Okay. So use it in the summer. Oh, heavens. <laughs> heavens what does that cost? This thing's, this thing's like a hundred and a half. So you can get me to a bidet for a hundred and a half. I could. So th there's a lot of advantage, a lot of choices. And the other thing is once you own one of these, It'll stay with you. You can take it from building to building when you move. It, it becomes your permanent friend. Okay. All right. Good information, Richard. Thank you. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project. So be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.